stop. I did stop at the Million Dollar Rack and I got a couple of purses. Really cute. Um, so I just wanted to show you guys that. And now I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to start over here in the shoes. And I'm going to see what I can find. Um, I can tell they have filled the shelves back up. So I'm hoping I can find some real good ones today. Um, it looks like they, they did put out a bunch of stuff, but you never know what you're going to find. Those are some apartment nines. So that would be like a Kohl's or something like that, which isn't going to be something I'm going to want. So I'm going to come around this side. Um, it is Monday, so I, sh I believe I have a coupon. So that's, that'll be good. That'll be helpful. Because I have a feeling I'm going to find a bunch of stuff. It seems like people are probably um, cleaning out their closets, getting ready for... Um, you know to put their christmas stuff out so i did see a bunch of new toys over there donated and um so i'll grab a few of those and then i'll have to go and look them all up and stuff but not a bad way to start the day these box sandals are pretty nice not a lot of wear size eight oh the, well, the fronts are the front's got a little bit of wear on them but not not too bad. The foot. What I'm noticing though is the footbeds are really clean. So you know what? Maybe I will put those in. Keep an eye on those. We have some Earth Origins and some um, Steve. A lot of Steve Madden's, huh? I'm wondering. I'm wondering if a store didn't dump off um, some of their their old inventory because whenever I see that much of a brand I, I start to think that's probably going to be what happened so I'll come on over here oh look at the boots oh bummer look at the toe on that yeah see you can't you can't really polish it when it when it's like that it's kind of just a done deal and honestly these are probably really small so I, I guess I'll just I'll pass on those. That's that's just too much damage for that. Um, I see a couple pairs of boots though. These are made by. These are actually very interesting. Look at the heel on that. It's kind of rounded. Um, I don't know. I, I have seen this brand before. Think I'm gonna put those in the cart because those have a very European look to them. So I think those are going to be worth a, a look or two. Um, I do have to make sure that I look high and low because like I said, when they put stuff out, they don't have a, a method to it. So I'm going to have to make sure and look. Olio. And keep, keep looking for different things. Oh, these are kind of pretty too. Now what are these? Leather. Well, that's another pair that's got that rounded heel on it. Hmm. I wonder if this can't be the same brand. Well, you know, honestly, I can't tell for sure. So I'm going to put these in the car. I'm going to come back and look at those too because I don't really know. Don't can't tell for sure. Hmm. All right. So I'm going to turn around and go this way. I think I'm gonna get some the Donner Pilners or those. The bottoms are pretty dirty on those. I think I'm gonna leave them. The Franco Sardos. Oh, and we do have some dressy shoes here. Those are pretty. I don't, oh, those don't feel very good though. I wouldn't say those are very good quality, but I do wanna check the, the, the boots up here. Those are 38s, but I don't know what they are. I'm not sure that's even leather. That doesn't even feel like it's leather to me. I know this brand is used to sell really well. I don't know now. That heel's really high though. So I do think I'm gonna pass on that because I don't I don't like to get heels that big. Now what are these? What are those? Nautilus. Okay, now this is a brand I'm not familiar with, Nautilus. So I'm gonna put that in the cart. They look kind of heavy duty. 
and then the ones next to them are just little bobs. Those are cute, but I think they're just a little bit too warm for my liking. A little leather pair of bobs. on the ends too and see if there's anything that catches my eye over here oh i do like the pink nikes but i don't think those will oh i don't think those will clean up enough they might but i don't think i want to do that much work these would literally have to be scrubbed and then in the wash you know what i'll take them because they didn't mark them up and and i might do them i don't know I see some. What are about these? Those are neat. What are those? Clark's Origins. These are actually like a really natural looking little originals. You know what? These are kind of neat. I like the way they kind of look like, I don't know, like little kid shoes maybe in a way. So I'm going to put those in the cart too. This is going to I have a feeling this is going to be a big cart day. I don't know if it's going to be a sh I mean, it might be a shoe day. I don't know. You know, like I said, I have to go through everything and check for flaws and, and all that before I get excited about all the nice stuff. we got some Rachel Zoe's. Some of these things I have seen before are still sitting here. Those are memory foams, but I think that they look a little bit warm to me, so I'm gonna leave those behind. Oh, but these are, you know how I knew these were Brighton? Well, cause look at the, the, the footbed tags on them. You know what, they're not bad. They're marked up a little, but I do have a coupon. So you know what, I will put those in my cart. I'm gonna have to do a cart look through, I think before I head to the back, just to just to make sure I have enough room. Yeah, it definitely looks like they got a lot of donations in. Aging Yeti. Um, I'm looking at these, but nope, they're just, they're, they're too light. What about those up there? Easy spirits, okay. All right, I'm not seeing too much. I know the music's loud, but I'm hoping my with my new um, my new microphone, it's not too bad for you guys. Now I've sold these quite. Oh yeah, I think I looked at those before. They they were kind of worn, but I have sold that pair in various colors quite a few times. I'll go through the men's and see what we can see. Of course, I say men's, but I can definitely see they have mixed in women's in here too. So it is not just men's. Those are ripped in the back. So it's not really very good on those. All right. Not those. Let's see what these look like. Oh, you know what? Oh, I think those are Asics, but those those look really nice. I don't normally buy the Asics, but um, now they're actually the toes are pretty worn on those. I think I'm gonna put those back. And what are those? Those are uh, borns. Those are men's borns. Those are pretty nice. Um, you can see some Sauconies are down there. I don't think I like that. That looks pretty, pretty dingy. They're probably a really nice pair, but when they get to be that dingy and stretched out, I think they're hard to, hard to do anything with. And, these Nikes, they took the insides out of those. 
And these are actually, these are ripped on the inside, so those aren't gonna work. Well, I think we'll just, I think we'll just, um, we'll move on. Let's, let's head towards the back and see what we can find. Those are ASICs too. Those are actually not too bad, but I think, I think I'm gonna hold off on, on those. So let's go ahead and, um, let's, let's go ahead and head towards the back and real quick and see what we can find. Cause I, I do have another sh um, stop or two to make today on my, on my thrift store rounds. Oops. Yep, they definitely have organized and cleaned up this store. So I was here not um, probably about a week or so ago, and I found a really nice, um, I believe it was an uh, Eddie Bauer um, goose down brown jacket. Beautiful condition. I bought it for nine bucks. Um, it sold. I mean, you know, like I said, sometimes you just find the nicest quality stuff that's sitting. Um, I don't buy a lot of um, clothing anymore. I, wish, I just don't, but um, I do believe I know what this is though. I, okay, yep. I've seen this before by Sylvestri. Oh, is he missing a hand? Oh, bummer. Oh, bummer, I love that. Well, let me, let me put him in the cart because honestly, um, he might, his hand might be in there. It's always, that's the worst thing when you're, when you're a reseller, you, you find something and you know what it is and you really like it and you open up the box and it's not there. It happens. It happens all the time. <laughs> happens like, I would say, I, I think most would agree with you. It happens a lot more if you're a video game person, when you're out there picking out video games and you go and you open the box and it's not there. But as I was, as I was telling you, like, look at all the Christmas. That's adorable. A little Christmas house. I gotta look through all this stuff. There are some vintage ornaments in here, but nothing I would need to stop for. What are those? Nope, those are candle holders. There's a nativity, but it's not one of the more expensive ones. But I am looking at all the ornaments to see if there's any of the, the vintage pieces or something hidden in there. Okay, so I'm not seeing it in there. But I do expect to see a lot of Christmas stuff. And I do see some Pokemon, which... Um, Oh, okay, I know this guy too. I've always liked this guy. I can't remember, is that from the Santa Claus? Anyway, I'm gonna grab him just because it is that time of year. So as you can tell, I got a lot of shoes already. I did grab a couple of boxes of the toys as I was walking by, but I'll show you what I got um, in a little while. Yeah, I have a feeling they are gonna have some nicer stuff being um, in in this in the store it, it's safety path light i don't know if that has value but um you know what i will take those because my husband always um uses those timer those timers and being that hopefully he'll he'll get my christmas stuff out pretty soon i better probably just take that oh here's a net gear this looks new in box it is new in box. Well, I'll put it in here because it still has a wrap on it. And that means it was probably a, here's another one of those path markers. I'm gonna put that in there too because I just, I don't know. It's, it's the right time of year for that type of stuff. Um, here's a tiny little Fridgy, but it's in horrible condition. Look at the tiny little Pyrex Fridgy. But that's, I would, I would buy it. If it was in good condition, I would take it. But um, that's kind of beyond, beyond my help. Okay, here. 
sweetheart. I don't think cool mom. What else do we have? Squad. That's kind of a cute one. I kind of like the one that says squad. But you know what though? I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave the ray done. I still have some pieces in my um, in my eBay store. I do buy, I do, I will buy ray done if it's if it's something that you know I like. So we're gonna walk through the hard goods and see what we see. Um, kind of have not been buying hard goods for a while, but recently I've started picking up the hard goods and, again. And um, you know, I wasn't sure how I how I you know felt about that if I wanted to or not. But um, so far, so good. I, the, the few things I bought, and a lot of them, they sold. Um, and my husband was really good. He sat went down one day and he helped me list them. And it was really nice that he was able to just like list them for me. So, um, you know, that was really good. He draft, he helped me do all the drafting and I thought, well, okay. And then, you know, that so far so good. So I maybe will make an exception and pick up a few extra pieces of, of, of hard goods when I, when I see them instead of just not picking them up. See, that looks like Christopher Rob. Is that a poo? That might be a, a Winnie the Pooh piece, but there's only one and he's got some cracks in his head. So I think we'll leave him. We'll just keep on going. That's pretty. Lennox lights up. Glisten and gold. Battery included. Ooh, I always hesitate on the battery pieces. You know what? I think I'm just going to put that back. Oh, this one's cute. That one's nice. Sleigh ride. Depends what year it is. What? Hmm, maybe. I'll put this one in the cart too. Danish mom. Let's see what's back here. That's not done. That one's not done very correctly. Alright, it is getting a little crowded over here and I do try to avoid people as much as I can when I'm when I'm here. So I'm, I think I'm gonna move up to the front and do a little, um, a little look through. Oh, this looks like an old one. This looks like it's the original. Ooh, with the tags. Am I gonna, am I gonna get lucky? Is this gonna be an original with tags? Maybe. Let's see what year. It says Kenner. That's good. Cincinnati. Uh, 1983. Yay. Okay. Okay. So, oops, oops, dropping stuff. Okay. So, now that I found that Care Bear, the original with the tags, I'll look for the rest of them, see if there's any more of them, because those, if those are the original Care Bears, man, those are, those are pretty good. With tags, I had a good one. Oh, you know what, here's a Mickey that looks a little bit older too. Oh, maybe it was just the feet of a different one that looked a little bit older. No, that's a Cole's Minnie Mouse, that's kind of, that mini looked that mini looked a little scary to me. Oh look how cute though. All the squishmallows. There's a bunch of squishmallows up front too. They got somebody must have dropped off a whole collection of them. Um I'm sorry, I'm I know I'm getting stuff in your guys' face where you can't see it, but look at the pineapples. Okay, this is not a squishmallow, okay. But let's see, is this one a squishmallow? You know what? Wait a minute. 
If these aren't Squishmallows, Fiesta. I'm curious if these aren't some of the early ones. Hmm, I don't know. I'm gonna have to. I did. Um, I did see this hiding back here, and I know this is. I believe that's a Pokemon. So I'm gonna take the Pokemon because I always have to look up, especially if this. Somebody sure looks like they dropped off older stuff. All right. Well, I think what my cart's pretty full. I'm gonna do a quick look through and, and um, I'll come back and, and show you guys what I got. At the, and um, I, I still have some more stops too. So I'll get back to you guys in a little while. I did get to the Czech thrift store and it's very crowded and she was putting out the Christmas cards. So, you know, I ran on over there and I did get a bunch of really nice stuff. I don't know for sure what I'm taking. <coughs> Gosh, excuse me. And what I'm gonna keep, but um, I'll go through my cart. And yeah, I did get a, a ceramic tree because you know, I, I can't leave those behind, but I have to be careful because everybody keeps trying to take it out of my cart. So I'm really gonna have to watch my cart good today. Those are cute little yellow glasses. A little yellows glasses and some pretty ones up there. Okay. Let's we'll come on back over here. You know what? Let's go over here. It's, it's um, it's. Oh, let's see what that one is. I recognize that. I've been a while. Okay. Let's go ahead over here. Maybe we'll hit up purses and stuff. There was a lot of good stuff in that cart. A lot of like Lennox and stuff, but there was just too many people grabbing. It was hard. Um, but I spotted the tree and, and told her I wanted it before she even started. So that's how I got the tree. Because I told her I wanted it before everybody else got over there. And she, she said, okay, okay. So as soon as she got her cart fished out enough, she handed it to me. But we're gonna go through. I think we're gonna go through. We'll go through the shoes over here and see what we can find. Um, actually, those are pretty nice. Those are New Balances. I kind of like the colors on them. Um, so maybe we'll put that in the cart. These are actually pretty good too. I haven't looked at prices for anything, but today is discount day. Oh, those are nice too. Look at those little Clarks. Those are great. So we'll get those. Yep, those look like brand new. And we'll get the purse here. That's cute. It's a little like a backpack, but it doesn't feel like leather. So we'll keep going through. Some of this I, I've seen before. Did they not unpack? Did they not unpack this? Maybe they maybe they didn't unpack this cart because I could have sworn that this stuff was sitting here last week. It was. I bet you no one ever unpacked it. They probably just threw stuff on top of it. Well, there you go. So, um, there was a, a few new things on top, but um, not nothing. Yeah, I don't think they unpacked this. I think they just put stuff on top and left it. But um, I'm gonna do a quick look through and see if I catch anything in there. Nope. So let's try, let's go try this side. I'm gonna take these out and, and look at the shoes. Who are those? Those are pretty chunky. Mia's. Those are nice. I don't know if they're, I don't know if they're leather. Let me see. 
man-made. Gosh, I was hoping to get more, um, more in the... Oh, it's another pair. You know what? I suspect someone probably cleared out all of their new balances because honestly, these look all the same size, um, which isn't bad. As long as they didn't, as long as they didn't mark them up too much. I guess I'll be cleaning some some shoes. Yep, here's another pair. That's a nice pair. You know what? Got to grab those too. Well, maybe it's just gonna be a. A New Balance Day. Those are Columbia's. Oh, look at this. Is that the other one? Yep. Those look great. I mean, honestly, I will check for tears, tears and rips and, and all that, um, as usual, but so far, so good. So we'll just keep in this cart since there's nobody back here. I, of course, I have a feeling if they see me back here, they're going to probably come back here and start going through the going through the carts the ladies up front were real interested in what things I was taking so I have a feeling they probably want to see what else I find oh that's kind of interesting how oh, funny interesting I'm not sure hmm I think I'll put those in there I do try to stay away from my heels unless it's something really, really good. Those are some Esprits. And I'm not even sure if I found all of the um, Amelia Grace. Ooh, those, those, sound, those feel kind of cheap. Uh, I'm truly not even sure if I found all of the matches for the New Balance, all the different New Balances. So I will have to go back and double check for that at least this isn't the super deep cart I can actually get to the bottom of this one uh, this is I think one of my oh then the ones I had yeah okay all right I think that's about it for this cart so I think we'll just go ahead and walk away they are busy in here today so So let's go over here. There's a couple of more. Um, you know, we'll come and look through this stuff too. But there is a couple more um, carts over here. I don't know what's in them, but it looks like puzzles and toys. Aw, that's cute. Camp time. Taros. Oh, wait a minute, what's this? Weight loss coach. This is new in package. Well, I'll have to look that up because I'm not familiar with that. I'm sure the DS, it probably doesn't have a huge amount of value, but it's worth, it's worth taking a look at. I'm gonna get some, some cases and, oh, we got taco. Is it, okay. I was gonna say, that's not a Squishmallow. No, it's not a Squishmallow. It's just a big taco. Okay, well, I would say I was okay with that cart. Let's see what we got over here in this guy. These are all like little stuffed animals and stuff. Uh, and we'll just keep looking. Oh, got some Harry Potter down here. Sorry, game. NASCAR battleship. All right, all of that looks like it's kind of been open, so I think I am going to keep on walking. Oh, I do want to check the wallets and stuff, see if they threw anything good in here, because you never know. Never heard of this brand. It's cute. Interesting. I know I've seen a bunch of these before. 
And the hats are, hats are looking pretty. Uh, yeah, they really haven't, they haven't moved anything back here. I think, I th none of this has moved. I, I think they're maybe pricing it just too high because it's not, it's not moving. Okay. We've got some back here too. Okay. So. Okay. So now we're over here. Yeah, I'm gonna look for games that are new. Like this is cute. What's this museum collection? Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay, I will check that out because it's that time of year and who doesn't need a Van Gogh puzzle? You know, everybody needs a Van Gogh puzzle. Look like Starry Nights. I only glanced at it, but I figure it probably was Starry Nights. Um. We got Spider-Man right here. Oh, puzzle. Okay. All right. Well, guess that is that a oh, battery off a Green Green Bay Packers uh, lamp, maybe. Okay. Well, I did get a couple of things, but I did, I do feel like I got some breakables in there, so I'm gonna really have to kind of just go through it all still, just to make sure I'm in the book section. All right, and come through the books. Well, they did put out some, put some Xbox games, but these are um, the Kinect games, and the Kinect games aren't very good. Yeah, none of those are gonna be very good. But I'm still looking for a new television um, series in case there's something that I wanna see. Oh, no, I'm not seeing anything. Okay, sorry, I always have to stop and look at this too. Nope not looking like it and I am going to come up over here got some books right there just going to look in here too in case they threw anything they haven't put it out yet in case there's something in there that I want to look at but I don't I don't think so all right what is this steam fast hmm oh sorry okay so we need anything out of there. So you know what I'm gonna do? I think I'm gonna turn you guys off. I'm gonna, oh here, we can go through the million dollar racks since no one's up here. So this is where they put all the, like, the high end stuff so you get to kind of see like what they have back here. And then they've got all their like their jewelry and their brooches and watches. Does the military discount come on first or last? Oh, I can't do it unless we have an ID. Oh, I don't have my husband. <laughs> you know, you can, uh, oh, in the basket. Oh, in the basket. There. Thank you. All right. And there's all that behind her. You can see all the stuff right. in the back. That's where they keep like the nicer stuff. So at least you got to see part of it, but it's it's gonna it's busy in here. So that's about as close as I'm gonna be able to get here. And I am gonna run through and look for like Christmas sweaters and things like that, just because it's that time of year. And and my Christmas sweaters have already started selling. So you know I always have to keep an eye out for that type of stuff. Well, I think I'm gonna turn you guys off here. I'm gonna do quick cart recheck, and I'll catch up and let you know what I got later. All right, thanks for joining me, everyone. Hi, everyone. I wanted to give you a quick uh, recap of some of the things that I got today. There is going to actually be a second load 
just because I had so much stuff that I, I felt like if I tried to put it, it was just going to be like one big pile. So I'm going to start you off with these items. I did find a ceramic uh, tree and it's actually going to go to my booth at the antique mall and I'll put the rest of the lights in it. So it'll, it'll look great when it's done. I got this absolutely beautiful um, Cole Haan purse. It was so, it was so nice. And I did have a coupon for it. So uh, I want to say it's paid about $15 for it, but, um, it will, it will actually have really good return on it just because of the condition and the style. Um, I actually got this vintage, um, coach purse. This is that vintage rose pattern that coach, uh, used to have, and it's very collectible and it's in really nice condition. So I, I, I did get that. And I literally, I only paid, I want to say I paid like $13 for it or something. And I wouldn't be surprised if it's a 75 to a hundred dollar purse. Um, I did get this really cool Nightmare Before Christmas um, coffee mug. I believe it's from England. Um, so it was kind of a, a, a weird a weird one. The only ones for sale I saw were, were from England. I did get a Spode Christmas mug. Um, I also got a Ray Dunn Deck the Halls. And this is actually um, this little, little Mrs. Claus. She's Pottery Barn. Um, I actually found an original. This is an original Care Bear with its tags. Um, I was really kind of surprised to see that. I mean, not a huge amount of value, but just the fact that it was the original, I believe 1983 with tags was really kind of cool. Um, I did get this piece of Temptations. This is actually a utility crock for your, your spoons and, and, um, your, you know, your mixing things, your spatulas. So, um, I did get that. I also got this game. It's called Zombieopoly. So let me go ahead. I'm going to, I'm going to scoop this up and put out another load and I'll come back and finish the rest. So I want to give you a quick recap of the second part. Um, I did get a nice Vera Bradley, uh, backpack. I also got a little bath and body works. This is actually suede. It's like a little wristlet. I just thought it was really well done. So I did grab that. I got a little pair of leather booties. I did get a pair of leather cowboy boots. I also got a pair. These are actually Italian. These are made by Think. They're, um, you know, like an Italian, like a, a booty. But look at all the different kinds of um, leather they have on them. I got a bag full. I did actually grab the whole bag full of ornaments from um, different places. But they're all glass ornaments. And they were just really pretty. So I did buy the whole bag. I got New Balance sneakers. I also got a Lennox picture frame. I got a small coach baguette purse, uh, a Polar Express ornament, uh, some Brighton sandals that look brand new. I did get an old Hallmark power box, these power supply for some of their ornaments. I got a old um, tree topper. I did get a pair of New Balance, um, also a pair of New Balance sneakers. Um, my total spend today was uh, $180. Um, I did get quite a bit of stuff and I do expect um, some good return on some of the purses that I picked up. As usual, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you haven't, please like and subscribe. That would really help me a lot. And as usual, I appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time.